So, um, I'm upset. I read a news article that made me really angry. And it's, it, it's, this is going to be a controversial, controversial video. People are going to get very angry at me for my stance and my, my opinions on this. All right. So I'm I'm upset by how this story is being presented to begin with. All right, because I'm trying to go into this a little bit delicately. Okay, first off, the first thing that I heard about this story was just on Facebook. There was an article that said um, the winner of the worst cook in America has been arrested for murder and I was like oh well that that's weird that she's murdered somebody and they're framing it as the worst cook in America winner but okay m moving on I looked a little further into it and it turned out that the person she murdered was a, a three-year-old child that she had adopted um, and then I got even more upset because the article that I found out that was focused heavily on the fact that she was a teacher and that her teaching license was being suspended over this as if, you know, maybe she'll get it back when she stops murdering children. You know, there's a possibility that if she doesn't murder any more children, she can teach again. Does it, I, and... And here's where this is going to be controversial. It's a black couple. The man and the woman are black. And the child that they adopted is white. And it feels like everything about these people is being built up to overshadow the death of this child. There, she's a teacher. She was on this TV show. She won. You know, and this child is dead. But teacher, because black, we we can't paint it negatively, and it feels like it, it feels wrong, because it feels like if it was, if if two white people had adopted a black child and then beat it to death, it would definitely be all over the media that it was a racist hate situation that they adopted this child to beat it to death. There would be no question in anybody's mind whether it was racist. But because this is two black people that have adopted a white child, they're focusing on the positive aspects and I am just sickened. I'm going to actually show you the article and it's not it's not that I'm racist. I don't want people thinking that I'm racist but I wish that we could have like I don't know it, it doesn't seem right. Former upstate teacher charged in child's death has teaching certificate suspended. Okay, so twice here they're mentioning that she's a teacher. Only once they're saying that she's killed a child. Twice they're mentioning teacher. And saying suspended means that she can't get it back, I'm pretty sure. Because it's not terminated. Simpsonville, South Carolina. A former upstate teacher who was charged with homicide by a child abuse has had her educator certificate suspended, according to the South Carolina State Board of Education. Ariel Robinson, 29, and her husband, Jerry Robinson, 34, are both charged January 19th in the case involving the death of their three-year-old adopted daughter. That's them. And, like, at first, because I didn't see 
The original headline I saw, I didn't realize that they had killed a child. You know, I just saw worst cooks in America and, you know, and then these people's faces. And so my mind went to jokes. That's some bad hairline, you know, and I felt bad making fun of their looks, but instantly I went to the hairline. Anyways, moving on from their ugly asses. According to arrest warrants, the Robinsons inflicted a series of blunt force injuries to the child, who the Greenfield County Coroner's Office identified as Victoria Smith. Smith died at the hospital. That's her. I mean, they couldn't have picked a whiter child, sorry, but goddamn. So you see why I say that if this was turned around, it would be framed as a racist case instead of teacher, worst cook in America, famous, uh, she might have murdered a child, little white bitch, don't matter, teacher, she's going to be back, you know. Ariel Robinson is a former middle school teacher, don't forget. On January 21st, the South Carolina State Board of Education suspended her educator certificate as a result of her charges. The records show Ariel had more than three years of educator experience, but had not worked as an educator since 2019. The SCDE has reason to believe that due to the serious nature of the allegation of misconduct, Ms. Robinson may pose a threat to the health, safety, and welfare of students who may be under her instruction, and that emergency action is required. After considering the evidence presented by the SDCE, the chair of the state board finds that Ms. Robinson's educator certificate shall be summarily suspended until a due process hearing is held, and or this matter is otherwise resolved. Otherwise resolved, y'all. Jesus Christ. Ariel Robinson also earned both local and national recognition in August when she won the Food Network's Worst Cooks in America. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's all we're going to say. Worst Cooks in America. Teacher. There's a little, little, little tiny bit. Little tiny bit of information about the little Victoria Smith. The little child that they murdered in cold blood by beating her to death. We're only going to mention that for a small little fragment of this article because what's important is the person that killed her was a teacher and on television. I dislike the world. I can't find my stop button.